all of the guides out there on Walmart advertising are outdated. And I'm gonna be showing you today how to get advertising enabled for your Walmart Seller Central account. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. This video today is sponsored by Alpha Raven House. They are a way to get more reviews on your Amazon listings. Check them out at alpharavenhouse.com. All right, so let's talk about Walmart advertising. And this is a cool new feature um, that you couldn't get access to without some sort of account management in the past. And if you wanna control your own advertising on Walmart, two things you need to keep in mind. First, you have to spend at least $1,000 in a 30-day span. Um, and they force that structure on you to even get into the program. And so you're basically signing a contract commitment. So if you're a seller that doesn't have a run rate north of $25,000 in general in e-commerce, Walmart advertising, not where you should be investing. Uh, you'd be way better off doing some sponsored products within the Amazon ecosystem. But if you're on Walmart and you're trying to ramp your sales, advertising is a great thing to check out. So uh, the first thing you need to, to do if you wanna get control over your own Walmart advertising, is to send an email to WPA sales at walmart.com and answer the following questions. You tell them your company name, your contact information, your name, phone number, and email, number of SKUs offered by your business on walmart.com, product category, your primary campaign objective, your target audience, desired advertising plan, and anticipated budget. All of this will put in the description of this video. And then you'll also need to provide them your legacy seller ID and and then your tax ID and your seller central uh, admin email. So there is quite a bit of information you have to connect. This is very different than your own Amazon advertising setup where you can just click a button and start advertising, right? This is more uh, approval based uh, beta pilot programming. And so the benefits of a beta test pilot program is that you're gonna be first to market, first one to get ads in the door. The downside is the UI is way behind functionalities are way behind and it's basically like advertising on Amazon eight, nine, 10 years ago. So if you're wondering how to get access uh, to some of that information, uh, there's a screenshot that we'll share where you go and it says sold, sold and shipped by, click on that and that'll get you access uh, to the information they're looking for. And, you, and then in the top of the URL, when you click on that link, the sold by, there's a seller ID. You can see right here is the 101 number and, and that's what you're looking for to provide them to get access into Walmart ads. And I now have on screen the Walmart Media Group and it talks about how, um, you know, what you can do to uh, get access to the number one retailer uh, in the US. 95% uh, of Americans shop at Walmart, probably not the same percentage shop online at Walmart, but that's changing. Walmart's trying to become a competitor. We'll see what happens. One other option you have for Walmart advertising is to have a managed campaign done by Walmart themselves. That costs a $25,000 per month commitment. So generally speaking, you wanna start small, test out that $1,000 spend and see how it goes. So if you're looking for a partner to come and help you manage your Walmart platform or ads, or maybe you haven't even launched on Walmart yet, we do have a service to launch you on Walmart. We're experts on almost every marketplace. And for $1,000, we can launch up to 50 SKUs on Walmart. Just go over to myamazonguide.com. Um, we also manage ads on Amazon and many other uh, 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 services at My Amazon Guy. Everything from listing reinstatements, designs in-house, A-plus content, you name it. Hope you check us out, myamazonguy.com. Thanks so much.